It's difficult to be angry on somebody else's behalf. That's like being... Yes, no, I'm not angry on someone else's behalf. Right, so so it's not about you, it's not about no. your farm and the no. fact that you bought a farm to avoid no. inheritance tax. Classic BBC there, classic. Oh yeah, it's not the fact that, the fact that I bought a farm to avoid inheritance tax, the fact. You told the Sunday Times in 2021 that's why you bought it. Sorry? BBC. Okay, let's start from the beginning. Sure. I wanted to shoot. Okay, that's even worse to the BBC. I wanted to shoot, which comes with the benefit of not having to pay inheritance tax. Now I do, but people like me will simply put it in a trust. And so long as I live for seven years, that's fine. And as my daughter said, you will live for seven years. You might be in a deep freeze at the end of it, but you will live for seven years. But it's incredibly time consuming to have to do that. And why should all these people have to do that? Why should they? So one of the reasons Rachel Reeves says she brought this in is to stop wealthy people using it as a no, way No, that was the it. only reason she did. Well, no, no, the other reason was to, to, to raise money for public <laughs> services. Oh. Well, have you, have you seen... Are you listening to this? Yeah. Have you tried to get a GP appointment lately? Yes, right. I just recently had a heart attack. OK, so you know it's tough. Yes. So where, where should they get the money from if it's not from... Farmers. From farmers. We, 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 you hear that, everyone? With, with BBC assets. BBC thinks you should be paying for everything. Which, Clark, okay, you do you know how many people speak? pay inheritance tax in this country? It's 4% of estates. What? 4% of estates. 4% pay inheritance tax. 96% of the population of the UK does not pay inheritance tax. After this becomes law, 96% of farmers will. Where have you got that figure from? Who here, can I just ask, who here is going to be unaffected by these changes? No one. Right. And where have you got the 96% Well, you've got 96%. Well, the same place that Rachel Reeves does, in the middle of her head. Right. From the Sixth Form Debating Society that she was no doubt a member of. Okay. Which so, formed her opinions, and yours. Short time. Jeremy, what's your word to the government? Jeremy, what's your word to the government? Jeremy, just to your How much he has meant to the farmers an absolute fun Honestly, it's like, why does the government dislike farmers? And what is the alternative? This is the question I really have for them. If you get rid of small family farms, and this legislation will, I don't care what they say, it will. Then what? Well, they say it will only hit the big ones. Well, and that last time around it was less they than say 500 that, that say would have that. actually paid this kind of... They also said they wouldn't, you know, raise taxes. OK. <laughs> We don't want to eat bugs and lab meat. Yes, exactly. End of. Yeah. No processed food, and our farmers work so hard. They work so hard. They deserve every penny and more. They should get more they, support from the government, absolutely. not less. Yes, yeah. Is the government doing enough? No, no. nowhere near. Absolutely nowhere not. Near. No, they're doing enough to destroy them, yeah, yeah, but not doing enough to help them and, you know, feed feed everybody proper food, keep us all healthy. And, and, and can, can today achieve anything? I hope so. It'll 
certainly highlight it and people posting on social media whether, whether the mainstream I don't know what they'll do about it but there's so many people post on on mainstream media now and just spread the word and highlight it Awareness. so yeah look Awareness, at the people exactly. look at who's come up from yeah. the country you know they've put down their tools and they've come yeah pitchforks at dawn I say <laughs> absolutely but what, what happens after this what happens next well, hopefully the government will sit up and listen, take notice, see how many people support farmers, yeah. think about things and maybe uh, conjure up the billions that they need some other how. Yes, definitely. Don't destroy the food chain. No. Represent. They are the future of our industry. Our country needs our industry. We need them here. Look how proud they are to represent us. Guys. So thank you. I don't think they're deliberately trying to force that. But I think Labour is after all a democracy. Labour has a very large majority. But I think people will be writing books in years to come about the destruction of the Labour Party and the decisions that led to its ultimate failure. And this is a very important one. Bear in mind, they only got 33% of the vote at the last election. It is not a popular movement anymore. Another go. And a one. And a two. And a three. 